Okay, so the first thing your assignment's gonna ask you to do is to graph by making a table of values. So here we have f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. And I'm just gonna make a table of values so that I can graph that. So I'm gonna start by plugging in negative 2 for x. Negative 2 to the third is going to be negative 8. Negative 2 squared is 4. So this gives me negative 8 minus 12 plus 1 or negative 19. So that's going to be my first value here. Next I'll plug in negative 1. This is going to give me negative 1 minus 3 times 1 plus 1. And negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Next, I'm going to plug in 0. So I'll have 0 cubed minus 3 times 0 squared plus 1. This one's easy because the zeros will disappear and you're left with 1. Now, um, to save time, I'm going to just continue and fill in this table. So next, you would get negative 1, then negative 3, then 1, then 17. And then I'm going to use that to help make my graph now. So negative 2 and negative 19 is not going to fit. But that tells me that at negative 2, it's going to keep going down. Negative 1, negative 3 does fit. 0, 1 fits. Then 1, negative 1. Then 2, negative 3. 3, 1, and 4, 17 doesn't fit, but that tells me that at 4, it's going to shoot straight up. So you can kind of sketch what your graph's going to look like now. And again here, we're just going to shoot straight up. So I'm using my table of values to help me graph. Once you graph, your step 2 is to determine where the zeros are located. So here we have one zero between negative one and zero. So I'm gonna say there's zeros between negative one and zero. My next zero occurs here, which is right between zero and one. And my last zero occurs right here right between 2 and 3. So I had three zeros. They're not at perfect whole numbers, so I have to say where they fall in between. Now, step C wants us to tell the x-coordinates at which the relative maxima and minima occur. So right here, we have a high point. So this is a relative max. That's occurring when x is 0. So we're saying the 0 where it occurs because that's what the question is asking us to do. So we have a relative maximum at x equals 0. And then if we continue down here, we have a low point. So this is our relative minimum. And it wants to know the x where it occurs, so that occurs when x is 2. So this is our answer for part B, and this is our answer for part C. Our graph was the answer for part A. Okay.